There's something heating up in Silver Bay today, and it's not the making of taconite, which is the tradition. There's something new and very exciting taking place in Silver Bay on the shores of Lake Superior. I'm Timothy Nolan from the Pollution Control Agency, Prevention and Assistance Division. I work on sustainable industrial development, and I've been a technical expert helping the community adopt this eco water. I'm Lana Frey, Lake City Administrator of Silver Bay. And this project represents a large historic um, opportunity for us, being that it's very innovative. It's the first that we know of in the world that is, integrates these three types of uh, production into one type of facility. And the other part that's really unique is the, the fact that we're partnering with the University of Minnesota Duluth. It's a venture for both of us that is new, and it, it's, it's something that is diversified from our typical mining town. And so I think there's just a really good opportunity to try to sustain our community Future um, through using environmentally conscious types of businesses and into economic development. One, you can extract oil from these algae and use them to produce biodiesel. And what remains of the algae can then be fed back to the fish to kind of in part complete the loop. So the plants and the algae will take the nutrients out of the water and that's their growth. And the algae will reoxygenate the water and then it's introduced back to the fish and it flows on and on through the cycle. And this, this, this overall project and the partnerships and everything you've heard so far, a lot of stuff's gonna be going on simultaneously. One will be the day-to-day -day sort of operations of the system. But on top of those operations, there'll be a research program where lots of University of Minnesota researchers and others will be doing applied research in the system aimed at improving its efficiency, making it more economically viable and uh, you know, just proving the concept, improving on the concept. And then in parallel to that, it'll be an educational program. So there'll be all kinds of students from UMD and, and locally, Silver Bay, the high school, the grade schools. There'll constantly be people flowing through, learning about what's going on in, 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 this, in this system. I was really excited. One, for two reasons. Number one, this is, in a fast, this is a fascinating project, and I know how much it means to Silver Bay. And number two, it was very personal for me because my father-in-law, Matt Banovitz, was president of Reserve Mining Company. And I respect my father-in-law greatly. He took some revolutionary changes in its mining operation. And today, we have the same thing happening. Today, we have also a partnership with the University of Minnesota Duluth and the city of Silver Bay and the community to do something revolutionary and to be a leader. We started working with Silver Bay with wind. We were looking at the feasibility of powering this eco-industrial park with wind. And we noticed there was a wastewater treatment facility nearby and we started thinking about algae and we thought if we're gonna have a greenhouse for algae, we should probably have plants. And then we thought we could use the nutrients from the wastewater treatment plant and then that kind of engineering wise and cost wise didn't pan out. So we thought, God, if we had a source of nutrients, we could do this. Dave thought about fish. We thought, well, there's a good source of nutrients and it all developed into to what it is today. I actually came to the project from Round River Renewables uh, to help design the system with the team. And then uh, basically we went through the whole process. The way the system will work is uh, there's six tanks uh, filled with fish and their wastewater goes through some filtration, some uh, buffering, and then it comes into four troughs where we're standing here today. And in those troughs we have plants floating on, on insulation uh, that will take, uh, the roots will go into the liquids and pull the nutrients up and grow uh, food and herbs and uh, algae is the final component. Algae uh, will take on uh, the nutrients and also do a better job of uh, bringing oxygen into the system. Uh, the algae are integral in this part in terms of uh, they provide both a feed for the fish and also a fuel and the algae um, will uh, play an important role on, on bringing a true cyclical, non-waste, uh, complete recycling system. All right. We're going to throw it in here. One, two, three. Okay. 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 So this is a pretty incredible diversification. We don't know exactly where, where it's going to lead, what other kind of businesses might be able to create some, some synergy around uh, this development in some kind of a cluster, but 
uh, I think there's some great potential and uh, it's a great partnership, both state, federal, uh, Iron Range Resources, uh, the county, great partnership of a number of different uh, governmental units that try something new here and uh, it's a pretty significant diversification. My name is Bruce Carmen. I'm the project coordinator in the Silver Bay Equal Park and the, one of the most important aspects to the start of the construction of this project is a new chance for economic development away from traditional mining activities within Silver Bay that make use of natural resources that are locally available and the ability to create synergy between industries and businesses basically emphasizing that the waste from one business becomes the feedstock of another, thereby reducing waste and transportation costs, which increase the bottom line for the two participating businesses that are aligned together. The biggest aspect is to be able to use resources that are locally available and to completely use those resources so that the ideology of the park, which is zero waste, zero emissions, is, is the thought process behind design and development of businesses in the Silver Bay area. The project that we have going here, the, the tri trio of aquaculture, aquaponics, and algae growth, a self-sustaining system that has zero waste with beneficial products of fish, produce, algae oil and algae to be used as animal feed are great examples of how you can develop businesses that produce no waste. There's something heating up in Silver Bay and it's not taconite. You've heard from some of the key partners who are leading Silver Bay into the 21st century. They are building opportunities from a variety of local resources and regional partners. This network has harnessed the community's hope for a more diversified economy, and they are building a model for other communities interested in sustainable development. Today's groundbreaking event was the end of a three-year learning process. We are moving together into phase two, which focuses on systems operations, research, and education. As Dr. Meiju concluded, everyone will be learning here. We hope you will join us and add to the learning in phase two.